hello welcome back to my channel please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and like my videos for more update about the world so the last update about once there was a king the king's mother cannot come close to rani because of her sickness and lakan has to be taking care of rani let's continue the king's mother requests the lady to let her work there but the manager pushes her away rageshwari enters then and it fully looks towards the manager being then and then questions the manager why she disrespected her. She is old and she must be given a job back. The king's mother had hidden her face in a veil at once and wonders about her luck. Raja asks Rani to be his friend. She saved him when his father, the monster, has coded her already. Rani agrees finally as Raja offers her his bath as well. Rani promises to take him somewhere he will be happy. Grandma comes to her. Amrita was afraid at once. Grandma forbids Amrita to feed Raja with sweet, but with meat only if he has to be a lion. Kokila overhears this. Grandma announced that from today, she takes the responsibility of Raja's feeding over herself. She leaves. Kokila follows her. The king's mother stood on his side as Jivan helps Rageshwari distribute the grains back to the ladies. Jivan points at her and calls her there. He wonders why that old lady is in veil. Rageshwari goes to her with the bag. The manager stops Rageshwari and informs her about the king's mother's tuberculosis. She herself was also reluctant to go near her, but finally takes the bag to the king's mother and she leaves inside. Kokila comes to grandma forbidding her to have sweet. She asks why she teases Amrita so much and Raja is a weak boy. Grandma wanted to make that weak plan to become strong tree. She instills hatred in Raja's heart for Carl. It will keep his fire controlled and when at the right time, it will ignite, it will blast even that cow. Raja comes to Rani's friends to play cricket. Rani introduces him as her friend. Raja forwards his hand towards them. They all come to hug him. Raja was happy and enjoys playing with them. In the car, Jivan speaks to Rageshwari about the old lady. Rageshwari scolds him. The car passes by the children where Raja had been playing with Rani, the servant. Rageshwari orders to stop the car. The driver questions the kid if Raja had been playing. But the children deny. Rageshwari slapped Jivan for making it up. Rani offers Raja to meet her family, but she must do something with his clothes. No one here must know that he is from the palace. The king's mother comes home. Lakan asks where she had been. The king's mother tells him that she was in the temple. Rani comes with Raja and introduces him as her friend. Raja touches the feet of the king's mother and Lakan. Lakan asks Raja where he lives. Raja says the palace. Rani says it is behind the palace. It is a distant village. She asked something to eat. Jivan insisted on Rageshwari, but she was irritated. Carl comes there. Jivan asked Carl to call Raja. If he wasn't there in the playground, he must be in the palace. Carl orders Amrita to bring Raja wherever he is. Rani brings Raja for food. Raja wasn't used to sitting on the floor for food. The king's mother asks how we eat at home. Raja says on the dining table. Rani clarifies that his father is a school teacher. Raja did not know how to eat with ants. Rani shows him how to eat with ants. He tries to follow her. She asks if he enjoys this. Carl scolds Amrita for being a bad mother. Rageshwari has been a good mother and wife. Carl asks Jivan where he saw them. He sends the servant to look for Raja and bring him home. Raja had fallen asleep with Rani. Lakan thought about dropping him at home. The king's mother says that they must not disturb his sleep. Lakan hears Kokila with the guards. He rushes home and informs the king's mother that the guards have been searching each home. The king's mother eyes Rani and Raja, forbidding them to come out. The guards bring all the village children. Lakan was afraid that what if they recognize her? The king's mother wonders if Rageshwari recognizes her. What if they find out that she is alive? Raja explains to Rani that his family, especially his father, must be worried for him. Kokila and the guards knock at the door. They enter to look around. The guards come inside and takes Raja along with them. Rani hugs the king's mother praying for the safety of Raja. Carl harasses and beats Amrita for bringing Raja up as a coward and a weak man. He forbids her to come in front of him again. Rageshwari comes with a drink in the hand and offers it to him. She tells him that nothing has ruined yet. Jivan has already seen Raja. There is none of Carl's mistake. Grandma is old and is changed now. She is tired and weak now. Grandma hears about this. Rageshwari says that Jivan has all the qualities of a prince, but Raja has nothing worth being a prince. Carl clutches Rageshwari's jaw instead and forbids her not to forget her word. She is just a second woman for him. 
Raja is his son and only he has a right to punish him. The guard comes to inform him that Raja has returned. Amrita hugs Raja and shows concern for him. Carl comes from behind and keeps a hand over his shoulder. He says today, the prince of Amrakot has arrived as a beggar. He drags Raja along. Amrita runs behind him but he locks her outside. In the room, Raja was afraid and he apologized to Carl. Carl tells Raja that it takes a whole life to become a prince from a wild animal. He did it. It takes only years to become a prince from a beggar. But it only took hours to become a beggar from a prince. He takes a stick and beat Raja. Grandma and Kokila watches this from outside. Grandma says that in childhood, it only hurt on soul when beaten on body. The badly Carl beat Raja today, the more hatred Raja will have for Carl. Amrita comes to plead with Grandma who comes with her and get the door opened. Carl leaves at a call. Grandma applies ointment on Raja's bruises. Grandma calls Carl a wild animal. She will make him so strong that he will be able to counter Carl again. Raja thinks about Rani's words and tells Grandma that he will never go against Carl. He is his father and he would always love him. If a stone is not beaten with armor, then it can never turn into an idol. Grandma asks where he heard all this from. Raja smiles and says from Rani. He appreciates her family and tells Grandma that Rani lives with her grandmother and father. Grandma wonders if it is possible that Rani is the ignited torn pieces of the fire she blew long time ago. Rani was worried about Raja and asked to go out. The king's mother stops her. She tells Lakan about Rageshwari. Lakan asks the king's mother why she went to Nari Nikitan. The king's mother confesses about working there. Jivan comes to Carl. He was tensed. He asked to leave when Raja was coming inside. Jivan tells Carl that it is a bad time. Raja comes inside and apologizes to Carl. Carl forgives him and offers him to eat apple. Grandma watches this courtly. Rageshwari comes inside to find her upset. Rageshwari was also upset. She reminds Grandma that Carl cannot be loyal to anyone. If she is nothing for him, even after being his child's mother, what is Grandma's word then? Grandma tells Rageshwari that a word has to be end. Right now, she has to blow out a common girl to turn a flame. Rageshwari wonders what a common girl can do to them. Grandma insisted that years ago, it was a common girl who ruined her life. She snatched her trust, her position, her power, and her hand. And today, there is a common girl again, and her name is Rani. Raja and Grandma comes to Rani's house. Rani was happy watching Raja but was shocked to see Grandma. Raja tells Rani that he came to thank her. She has taught him so much that Carl forgave him today. Rani whispers into Raja's ears not to tell her grandmother that she works in the palace. Grandma comes to the door. She peeks inside and wonders why this fragrance is a known one, as if she is going to meet an old friend. She steps inside the house. The king's mother, Lakan, and Rani's photo was kept beside the wall. Grandma asks Rani about her grandmother and Lakan. Rani explains that they have gone out. She did not know their names both. She tells Grandma that her real name is Rani Gayatri. Thank you for watching my videos. Please don't forget to like my videos, share it, and please subscribe to my channel for more updates about the world. Thank you.